Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, after viewing, um, because there are two ways that one of the updates that's broken right now can install, um, where I kind of updated this video for the removal and the fix for one of the biggest problems with Windows 10 for those that are on the April 2018 update right now. So I uh, made a video last Friday about how to fix the problem related to the famous KB4023057 update. Now, some of you have it installed because it's not everybody, and it's interesting because I looked at different computers and noticed that um, for a lot of computers, it's installed as a regular app. So that's where you need to go and uninstall it if you do have a problem with it. Because what's happening, KB4023057 is trying to reinstall con you know, continuously on your, your computer. And it creates an error in the Windows updates. So uh, this is, if the first video doesn't help you, this is the number two video. And this one will work out. So if you have problems with uh, that update, trying to install itself all the time, what you need to do is go into your settings. In your settings, you will go to Apps and make sure that you're at Apps and Features window. You will go into the Search This List and here you will type the update number. So KB402 uh, 3057 and press enter and in the April 2018 update because here in my uh, I'm on the October 2018 update this update doesn't exist but if you are on the April 2018 update that will bring update for Windows 10 for x64 based system um, and what you will have is a uninstall button so uninstall it here. Once it's uninstalled, restart your PC. And then you will go back to your Windows updates when you restart your PC. And you should actually see it appear. But this time, it's going, in, it's going to install correctly. So that's the second way you can fix this update error. And things should be OK after you do it. So, um, And for those who have been asking, you know, is this update safe? Uh, it's already installed on your PC, so it is safe. It's just that there's a bug in the Microsoft update system, and it's trying to push this old update again. And so people are kind of stuck with Windows Update not working well because that update is breaking Windows Update, basically. So that's as simple as that, and you should have it um, back to working order. So that's the second fix for this problem. If the first one you didn't see it, it wasn't in the update list, you should see it appear with this trick. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.